Welcome back to my channel, I'm Araceli, and in today's video I'm going to share 11 fall DIYs. Every year I like to start off the season doing a recap of last season's DIYs. I think it's super helpful for those of you that are new or in case you watched them last year but didn't get a chance to recreate them, just doing a little refresher. Most of what I use is from Dollar Tree or Dollar 25, whatever you guys like to call it these days, but a lot of the stuff that I use is also from like thrift stores or Amazon. If you do see any tools or supplies that you might be interested in, make sure you guys check out the link below for my Amazon storefront. You more than likely will find a link to whatever it is down there. First few DIYs today are inspiration dupes from Hobby Lobby. If you guys would like to see some more Hobby Lobby dupes, make sure you let me know down below. Let's go ahead and start out with this super cute DIY, which is this buffalo check garland, which by the way is still sitting pretty on my shelf. While shopping for ideas at Hobby Lobby, I also picked up this buffalo check fabric, which I cut up into strips. Then from Dollar Tree, I picked up some tennis table balls. They come in a pack. Um, you could either find these, and I think they have golf balls, whatever, it works the same. So at the top, I just wrapped that around with some twine, put the ball right in there, and then I twisted the fabric, wrapped some more twine on that, and then just repeated the process. And you can make this as long as you want, depending on you know how much fabric you have have and how many balls you pick up. Once all of it is done, I did take the very end of the fabric and I just cut it up into strips. On this next piece, I did decide to use more bright fall colors, but I'm thinking this year I'll probably use more neutrals. I'm using some reed from Amazon and I also picked up these $4.99 bundle of rings from Goodwill. These are woodworking glue sticks, but I use them for all of my projects. They're considerably larger than my Gorilla glue sticks. I also purchased those from Amazon. Again, you guys can check out those links in the description box. So right here, I'm just cutting the reed to size, depending on how big the rings that you have are, that's how big you wanna cut them. And I'm just gonna start gluing them towards the end, like on the opposite side of the ring. And you'll see that I'll put the other ring on top of that once it's all done. But I'm just gonna go ahead and clamp these down, make sure they dry up and you know, just go around and do my design. Okay, so it's all finished. Now I'm gonna take a mixture of acrylic paint and water and use that as a stain. As you can see, the rings didn't really, you know, it didn't really work well on that, but it did work on the reed, which is just fine. I think it looks great. And then I'm using a paper towel, but I also like to use baby wipes because the moistness of the baby wipes helps that um, stain kind of spread throughout the wood. And right here, I'm just using that harvest letter from Dollar Tree, spray painted it, and then I'm adding my fall um, florals. This adorable pumpkin trio is probably one of my favorites and I love that I was able to give each one of them a really unique look. So I picked up several different types of pumpkin plaques from Dollar Tree. Some of them do come in a bundle like the orange ones and then the checkered ones. And I am going to glue them together so that they look a little bit thicker. And again, I added a unique touch to all of them, making sure that it looked as similar as possible to the original one. Here comes my dog walking in the kitchen. Um, so for this one, I added some Dollar Tree pearls, and then this one, I added one of these tile cutout. Oh my goodness, Bella, hello. Um, yeah, one of these peel and stick tiles, and I love how they all have like a 3D-ish design. And on the last one, I'm gonna be using like a cork sheet, um, like a corkscrew sheet from Dollar Tree as well. That one has like an adhesive back.
now I'm just going to paint everything and someone did mention that you want to cut out and glue the peel and stick tile piece onto the pumpkin first because if you paint it, it actually shrinks. I did not know that. So yeah, make sure you glue this on before you paint it. Okay, so let's talk about the genius way I use this little red truck mat from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love this piece. All right, so that Dollar Tree mat, I just literally cut out the little red truck and I know it's like backing up, right? Like that's the tailgate of the truck. And I'll explain why I have to make a point of that. Um, I do have, or I did have some extra pieces of wood laying around that I used for my frame. And that piece on the back is like, cardboard it's like the backing from a shelf that I kind of had laying around that I'm using and right here I am cutting out those tail lights and marking the center of it so that I can um uh, what's the word I'm looking for drill a hole in there and now I'm gonna go ahead and paint it I don't want to cover it up too much I do want it look I do want it to look distressed I glued and nailed my frame and now I'm gonna staple the backing to the frame For those tail lights, I am going to be using some string lights. So I do want to screw in some holes because I'm going to thread those string lights right through them. And then I am stapling this little Dollar Tree basket on here because I'm going to put some florals on there. And then it also helps so that I can put the battery pack right into that um, and it's not really exposed. So I'm going to thread the string light from the top to the back and then once I get it all through then I'm going to bring it back into the hole that I created in the tail light and just make sure that when you glue this down you leave the battery pack piece that comes off so you can change the batteries accessible and I just really just kind of twirled the string lights into like a circle and put them right into that piece and I kind of popped up the fabric so they stick all the way through. And in the original video, somebody mentioned that these look like headlights because they're white, which it's whatever. Like if you want to paint these red so they look like brake lights, be my guess, but I think they look cute. Maybe he's just going in reverse, you know, to pick up some more pumpkins and that's why they're white. All right, that's it for this one. Let's move right on to this wooden round autumn garland, which I absolutely love. You can find these wooden rounds in my Amazon storefront. And by the way, I did use my cutting machine to make my letters, but you guys don't have to. You guys can use decals, you can use stickers, and you can even trace your letters. This one is super simple. I just added my stickers right onto the wooden rounds and then I did attach some twine to those holes that are already pre-drilled on there and, a ta and then I attached a fall garland from Dollar Tree. You guys are enjoying these DIYs so far if you are make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up and then also make sure to follow me on my socials Instagram and TikTok uh, so you can see any of my sneak peeks over there okay so these wooden block pumpkins are super simple but I think they're the perfect piece to decorate your tier tray or any small space
Some of my favorite items from Dollar Tree are ones that come in multiples, just like these smaller pumpkin cutouts that do come in a pack. So I think this one is really easy to follow along. I know I'm not really doing the voiceover on this one, but I think it's just simple and easy to follow. By the way, you know, I am using my um, design space to create like the, the wording on these, but I also like to use a Canva editor. And again, sometimes I just do hand lettering. So you guys pick whatever is easiest for you and, you know, create your design to fit your style. Happy Fall sign, I did use Amazon items, but I'm pretty sure Dollar Tree or Dollar 25 does carry Scrabble letters now. Here's another piece that's uh, linked in my Amazon storefront, and then these Scrabble letters I purchased at Dollar General. So these squares you can find at Dollar Tree, but I feel like if you purchase them through Amazon, you get a lot more for your money. And just using a little excess piece from my fabric that I purchased at Hobby Lobby, I love to reuse stuff. So anytime I have extra pieces, I save them just in case. And then I'm adding some wooden blocks right in between two of those and just gluing my Scrabble letters right on there. never go wrong using lanterns for your decor and what I love about this one is that you can just switch out the florals to decorate for any season. On this one I'm actually reusing an old lantern that I made using Dollar Tree frames and I'm just repainting it. Um, the first time around I didn't paint it and the paint on those frames is a little hard to stick so I do <laughs> I did have to do a couple of coats and then I'm just using this Dollar Tree sign painted it black in the center just to cover up that wording and then I'm gonna glue my lantern right on top of that and just decorate it with my fall florals and a candle holder by the way I think the same day that I went to Hobby Lobby um, I went to Goodwill and I found these Hobby Lobby florals or garland for way way cheaper so again don't be too ashamed to go to the thrift stores and see what you find What better way to celebrate the leaves changing than with this hello sign with some really bright autumn leaves.
last but not least I recycled this old wooden sign and I transformed it into something that I'm pretty sure you would find at any home decor store I think out of today's videos this one comes probably in second because I really like the little red truck one also but anyway yeah I'm just reusing this old sign and then I did paint the inside of it white and that little uh, aluminum truck is from Dollar Tree I did paint black around the tires and the windows and then I'm using some Dollar Tree rub on transfers and you guys can see there I just printed out the words pumpkin patch I put some pencil on the back and then I'm gonna trace that right onto my sign I think I didn't film this part, but I did glue some wooden uh, blocks right in between the sign and the little truck so that there's a gap and I can put all of my little flowers and all that good stuff in there. All right, friends, so that is it for today's DIYs. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and for waiting so patiently while I balance <laughs> this whole new journey I'm going through. I would love to know which one of these DIYs is your favorite. And also, if you did watch this last year, which one did you recreate, if any? Um, that is pretty much it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Like always, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.